Welcome to the newest podcast of One Academy, the learning and development arm of One Billion Tech. We dedicate this series to empower our team with essential soft and technical skills. Today, we are exploring the vital role of UX in software business. Join us as we welcome our speakers for the day, Mahen and Vinod. You all doing good. Uh, myself Vinod, and this is my colleague Mahen, both uh, senior UX designer from our UX team. Uh, this is our first podcast, episode one. Um, today, and we today going to, we are going to talk about you know uh, the vital uh, role of UX in software uh, business. And uh, Mahen, I have a question to start with. Um, so, uh, what is the difference between, it's a popular question, right? Yeah. What's the difference between, between UX and UI? Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, you know, I think a lot of uh, people are getting confused when they start the job even, right? You know, uh, the UX means uh, it's a use experience. Like, it's the full experience of the application. Uh, you know, it can vary into different, different areas. Like, what are the features it's going to come there? Uh, what are the things like? you know you have uh, components you can say uh, how how it feels and uh, how it works that's where the ux uh, ux uh, designers come and they think that it's a bigger thought process but uh, that is the part it's going to come as the ui under ux mm. so ui means uh, user interface uh, it's the aesthetic of the experience like basically you can say how it looks you know how it feels how it's basically you know you can for example between uh, buttons, gap, design, colors, all comes under UI. Right. So I know it's a, a, confu a confusion question. Yeah, so uh, yeah. let me elaborate a bit more, right? You know, uh, user experience is how you feel, it, you know, uh, how, mo how motivate you are to use the application and, uh, and user's reaction, you know, uh, you know, basically when, when it's come to that, to keep them on the app or the application, it's, you need to, be there to have a better user experience yeah. because otherwise they will go away right right so when it's come to user interface uh, it's basically the interaction uh, like uh, you know visual representation of it uh, can we put like the, the the example the real world example like this right yeah uh, for building construction right yeah uh, can we say the architecture the architect is the ux yeah and the person who is doing the interior design is a ux designer exactly ui designer sorry. yeah you can say the the structure the structural one is done by the development and the architects level you know from the technical on, uh, right. technical point of view yes one hundred percent right there yeah. right. from uh, there is this uh, famous uh, you know the um, uh, Jacob Nelson the guru right yeah. so he have on one of the, in his book he have this call jam theory have you heard about it uh, uh, yeah I heard about it why don't you <laughs> yeah it's a very uh, nice. Uh, you know, example he did, uh, he uh, did a jam theory called, uh, uh, he went to a supermarket, he give a try to see the use experience of it, right? And he put six jars in different flavors on a, on a shelf and they gave people to experience it. So, uh, people came like, uh, he, according to his stats, it's like 40% of the people tasted it and uh, 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 from that, 30% uh, purchased. Mm. Right. Yeah. So then again, he he got the message. Okay, people are going. People checking these things and all that. Then, then he what he did was, and after another month, he put twenty jars, different flavors. Then he did the same testing. Mm. So people come when they see they come there. Sixty uh, percent come because of the majority of the different flavors. Mm. They look, uh, they taste, but three percent is, uh, basically uh, buying the buying product. Correct, yeah. What's the reason can be? The reason is it's too much of 
options, uh, options select, right? they can't figure it out what yeah. to buy they get frustrated yeah. so we call it you know the the users cognitive load right exactly if the, if the co- load is you know too much uh, users know how to, how to pick one because yeah. there are a lot of options yeah um, so something like that so uh, basically if you if, imagine you do a design if you give too much of clutter and you know you know people get frustrated yes. they will go away from the period you lose the business yes. from there on yes. so it will be very uh, minimalistic as well as uh, it should be very uh, uh, creative to get the user stuck on that application for another you know longer time right perfect did perfect. i answer your question no, yeah, yeah. The, i think that that will give some insight to yeah. our, our viewers and um, so mahin moving on yeah uh, this is a very important question the, for the podcast how ux help business success uh let me rephrase that uh, you know that tag uh, tagline usability is the key to user experience right for example let, let's take uh, there are quite a lot of uh, successful products because of the appearance and the ui and the user experience part. let's take a tesla for example right why tesla is uh, stand out from the rest of the vehicle market because they are unique right? unique yeah. right basically you know as far as i know uh, if you buy a tesla from the you can go to their website and you can enable all the features from the website That's to the easy. car so the experience is really good that's why people are basically uh, buying a tesla uh, which is like i think two or three times expensive than uh regular car, regular, right? ca- regular cars and uh, that's the experience part of it and airbnb for example how many people use it what's the billions of dollar business right and uber right for example users must the user story must be on that is a person wants to go travel from uh, a to d right that must be the user story so the user experience person uh, the designers and the ui team they collaborate and they must have come up with a design okay we need to have different kind of vehicles different kind of geographical maps you know locations where uh, the users are very easy you know you picked up the current location you go and go to a destination without any hassle and you can see the amounts you are going that's the experience part of it now imagine uh, there's an app when you click on it it a uh, 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 vehicle comes and pick up you have no idea what's going on right who's coming and all that everything is there that's where the user experience comes to you know build a massive uh, billion dollar business yeah. and the other thing is uh, most of the people the younger generation use the instagram right why instagram is famous than uh, nowadays more than facebook and the other social media because it's easy like you know put you put a video you put a comment you uh, share it with friends you tag friends very easy you know all visual right yeah. why everything is successful is because of uh, visual so uh, uh, answering your question uh, increasing your user engagement on an application will help your business mm. right and uh, you know better understand you have to find the pain points before you build a app or a application a mobile app or an application in the industry you have to find the personas like what we said our previous ones right and uh, you know uh, streamline the workflows mm-hmm. you know you cannot have like seven screens in a mm-hmm. you know small action yeah. you know you have to visualize that so that's why the ui ux uh, is a very critical role in a company as well as in an app uh, in a project oh. where they don't use the front end of the uh, what do you call uh, the application, application right, right. Yeah. basically you will have a you know a, you know 2.5 liter engine under the hood but if the appearance is not there people are not going to buy it yeah if it is not usable then exactly you know the interface have to be very nice you know when you get into a car if the everything is in a very sleek nice way people like people will put extra money to buy that yeah. so when you uh, to help business as well as not to uh, you know lose your business do not neglect the ui ux part of it yeah exactly so, totally agree on that yeah and also I, i wanted to share uh, the you know very fun uh, application that i'm using recently yeah uh, have you heard about you know duolingo yeah right yeah, okay. so this is a popular i think number one uh, language learning application mm-hmm. so the key takeaways from them uh, the application i would say you know uh, uh, you know the onboarding process it's very yeah. very fast and uh, mm-hmm. as soon as you Uh, in the onboarding process itself uh, you can uh, they give uh, you know the uh, how the application works and everything yeah. so you land on the screen okay. as soon as possible right and the uh, second uh, you know uh, the gamified 
strategy okay. yeah. you know uh, for the reward system and everything whenever you achieve something yeah. uh, they give the you know uh, rewards system right so right. that is a way that will help the user to retain to retention engage right? and keep keeping them on that application, application. exactly yeah that and uh, great visual and uh, yeah. design and everything so there's a, a you know a mascot that will follows you through the you know the process entire so, process enter to process. help like kind of a help yeah. format oh, yeah. right. really and nice. also they have uh, total 50 million uh, downloads yeah. and also the daily usage of 10 million users right of the application yeah so that will quite all all of these i think helps to um the work for their business right and moving on yeah uh, what are the common challenges faced by organization in implementing effective user experience in the uh, design uh, i would say uh, it's like this it's a uh, lack of understanding of the ux need so that's the biggest uh, i think for startups to multi million dollar companies that's the thing i i it's my personal thought that's the way they think you know it's not a big thing uh, under because uh, the rest of the things will uh, cover the entire you know project scope mm. but that's where they take the mistake you know without an interface without a quality interface if you spend billions of dollars to build an back end of an application it's not going to go for the users you know imagine you have one screen you have a button on your right next one you have a button on the top you know people will click they will click the second one then they will like well, what should i do next right mm. So it's a uh, that's why I said uh, wherever the whatever the organization levels, they have to understand the need of it. Mm -hmm. So because this is funny because uh, investors, uh, the C level people are most of them are investors. So yeah. what they want is visual. Now imagine our clients, we worked with US and uh, UK clients, but they say we want something nice, right? So when you say something nice, they want the experience. Right? It's not just putting you know few colors and you know getting a button there and all that. It's it's about the entire experience they're talking about. Mm. So we have achieved uh, quite a lot of good uh, projects and, you know, we are carrying on with, you know, quite a lot of projects also at the moment yeah. because of what we're going to, what you're putting outside uh, for the market, right? So that's why clients are coming back to us and asking, you know, can you, can you do on the UX work also on these things? So yeah. that's very simple. And the other thing is, uh, is the time. Time is a very critical thing because you need to do your testing. You, you know, you have to do your research. Uh, all of that are there. So, uh, because of that, uh, you know, time, time, time barriers will be going on, but depending on the, you know, project scopes and all that, we had to narrow it down. I'm not telling to spend a lot of time in that, but you had to spend time on it. From junior yes. to senior, the top of the chain, you have to, you know, you have to do your research, you have to do your testing. And the other thing is the uh, innovation part. You know, people are a bit scared to do an innovation. Uh, think out of the box and build something because uh, the what you call the standards are there. Mm. You know that's where the skill set of the development comes. You know they have to think out of the box as well yeah. to come to uh, to make a great product. Okay. So those parts are there, and uh, you know uh, also what what these things should be come under matrix and you know uh, qualified ROI should be there. So you have to follow that. Okay, this uh, we spend this much of time because of these kind of, uh, you know, quality product came because of these things. So if the stats are there, then it's easy for, uh, to, uh, they want to build, if they want to build another team on top of the UX and UI, they have the stats to proceed. Oh, yeah. Thank that there are some nice, uh, insights about the yeah. uh, challenges by faced by organization. Yeah. And, uh, another question I want to ask, you know, now the AI, you know, everything's coming to the place. Yeah. Right? So how you see UX in five to 10 years? That's a very good question and uh, what a time to ask, right? You know, yeah. basically, you know, the, uh, I, I feel my personal opinion, you know, uh, the future in another five to 10, not, it's not going to be another 20 to 30 years. It will be another five to 10 years yeah. of time. You know, AI and the machine learning will come to the place. It's already there. It will come out to the real market and, you know, a lot of people will start using it, you know, and AR and VR, right? Mm -hmm augmented uh, reality and virtual reality yeah, it's going to definitely it's going to come the vision pro and everything introduced and 100 yeah. percent uh you know and the face uh, facial recognition so, and uh, you know eye, eye tracking you know uh, someone can wear a glass yeah. and they can walk on the streets and they will see you know now we get you know sms's and uh, whatsapp messages saying 50 percent off on uh you know this x uh, supermarket or anything 
so we had to check the mobile to check those things how how many times we missed that and you know, imagine you wear a glass you walk on the streets you see that particular shop and you on a side you will see all these offers and all that why people are intent to go there so the from the company's point of view they will invest on that because they get more business right very simple right you know because they want to grow their business yeah. as well as the peep from people's point of view they will buy the glass because they will see these kind of things yeah. and uh, voice recognition will be coming for sure definitely now tesla already yeah. have it right uh, so on top of that you know re- you remember when we were going to school we had uh, we read uh, um, dr arthur c clarke's uh, books right or dc 1 2 exactly. 3 4 right yeah, yeah. That was back in 2000, I don't know, 98, 97, uh, somewhere yeah, 92, there, right? Yeah, I think. Somewhere yeah. there, right? But those days, we love to read it because it's a f- they, he's talking about the future. Now, it's almost uh, two decades. It's already there. Already. Yeah. Vehicles going by themselves and, uh, you know, mobiles are there. People talk to each other, uh, you know, face to face. Everything is there. It's uh, so good. The other thing is, uh, you know, the, you should check uh, a movie called Minority Report. that was back in 2002 when we were going to school we saw that you know all hand recognition we we were like we were very uh, what do you call we were very impressed we were, i think i watched like 10 15 times of the oh, movie yeah. because it's it's the future they are ta- talking right oh. now it's there right already who's the actor by the way i got uh, to check out oh really Tom Cruise, okay. you have a look so it's just hand signal they it's it's talking about the future so the, whatever happened like two decades ago we 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 were thinking it will never happen had already happened So imagine now they are talking about you know robotic um, militaries you know different AI matters definitely will come it won't take two decades it will come in another five to ten years for sure exactly <laughs> yeah. so yeah did did you check about the new chat GPT uh, feature they have introduced uh, it is actually it will uh, translate real time yeah. in the different languages so it will so, now it becomes a teacher a translator and a personal assistant everything yeah. uh, handled by Uh, the ai yeah. so as a ux designer we need to focus on uh, you know in our application how we can implement these you know uh, 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 get the work get fast the work and, fast and yeah, done, yeah, right? for sure and uh, yeah, adding on to that you know that i uh, my business person feeling again like you know uh, ai won't replace humans but in another 5 6 years if you don't know about the ai tools it will be really hard for you to survive yeah. in the market so and you have to like, um, Yeah. Exactly. Even if you are getting old, you have to move with the technology to get recognized in the industry. So that's a something I think everyone uh, should uh, uh, you know learn about it, right? So Mahen, as a conclusion, um, so we have uh, look into the real world situation that we discuss about, and you know the application we discuss about, right? Uh, as a conclusion, I would say you know uh, user satisfaction, customer retention. you know brand rep- reputation and uh, increase of you know those three i think help you to uh, increase the revenue right yeah any thought about that you know you can con- conclude everything together yeah i will say uh, uh, let me think okay the first thing is i think first uh, i'll give you an example i think uh, other than explaining step by step again i will give you the example perfect example is blackberry versus apple right mm-hmm. when blackberry came to the market why it got uh, so popular with the c level people it's a keyboard right they never came up from the shell they were inside that they were saying we are dominating the entire c level and it, even it's very expensive than a regular phones the people will buy it because of the keyboard that's the main reason you can check your emails and all that that's a big ha ho like thing back in a decade yeah i think yeah so what what apple did was steve jobs did was he came he thought out of the box that's what i said you know he said no it's not going to be the keyboard it's a screen this screen and the uh, user interface mm. it's i think one of the best right you we i think most of the people use apple products why because of the it's you use experience and the interface right exactly. we love it that you know uh, even the laptops it looks looks slow sleek right what it used to be so blackberry stuck there and they said no we are the dominating we are going to stick stick here and apple came up from nowhere and they conquered the entire world. Right. Now I think no one is using BlackBerry. Even I don't think I so. never. I haven't <laughs> seen a person using a you know a decade. Right. right. You know, hard. I never seen actually. I never seen it in even a phone shop. It was there for sale. You know. Then BlackBerry came up with a smartphone. It still they cannot even compete uh, with even an Android. So BlackBerry is I think going down the drain. But 
Apple is going to rule for some time because of their interfaces and all that. Uh, unfortunately, Steve Jobs is not there, but his uh, vision is carrying on. They are com coming up with a, another car also, Apple car, right? And uh, very recently, they they are building new, you know, going forward, the new laptops, tabs and all that. So their vision is good. Uh, unfortunately, again, uh, Steve Jobs is not there, but, uh, you know, they are, they are successful with the multi-million business came up because of the interface. That's a good message. I think we can tell for everyone, you know, if you learn, learn, learn the right way. Right, you know, and always when you're designing, don't make the user think. That's a golden rule. Yeah. So you don't make the user think. It just, you know, let them, you know, so we sort out their thinking part to use the application. So uh, that's yeah. a example I can tell you. Thank you, Mahan. So uh, it was nice. Uh, I think I hope uh, it was a nice discussion. It will be useful for our audience and. Um, and thanks for listening. Uh, so this is our first episode. We'll be continuing doing this in future as well. And uh, if you have any feedback or clarification, you can put it in the comment and uh, we'll happy to uh, reply to that. Thank you very much.